ブリーチブレイブソウルズ Alright, alright, guys, I'm back. How are you doing today? So, I'm making a guide video right now for you on this Choose a Six Star Summons ticket. And I really just want to target this video for those people who don't know yet who are the best characters in this banner, who are holding great value in terms of like Senkai Moon Guild Quest, PvE content, um, and in general, just breaking down the characters so I can help you uh, decide. Who you want to pick tomorrow to feel guaranteedly satisfied. And what I mean guaranteedly satisfied, to don't feel, you know, sad or, you know, angry about your pools or anything like that. Because at the end of the day, there is a huge chunk of pool of characters and you can select five of them and you can make this strategy uh, pretty cool if you change your mindset about like this character is trash or that or that generally just breaking down the characters who is good here 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 and here and who is new for you or who is i don't know 405 for you so you can pick a strong copy of him or you can pick a strong link or a strong character in chronicle or a generally just a great value in terms of this ticket so i really just want to To tell you that you have to change your mindset first before you go into this banner and don't just look at the characters like okay so this banner is full of trash we have like three characters in there who is good and yeah that's all because that's not the truth at all this ticket and all this ticket is generally just categorized for those people who are a with holding a you know a beginner account or a mediocre account or generally like 300 or 200 days which is kind of considered a mediocre account you know because you are still missing one of here and their characters and you have some characters which are new for you and maybe you can decide who you want to pick tomorrow to not feel down or you know demoralized so let's just jump right into the video sorry for the huge introduction but i really just want to get out this information that uh, if i can help only one people today i'm gonna be more than satisfied uh, tomorrow to hear your opinions or you know like comments or anything like that So yeah, let's just jump straight into the video. The reason behind we are right now not at full screen is just because I wrote down a notepad here, generally categorizing the characters who I highly suggest picking, or you know, like talking about the strategy for you to be satisfied tomorrow. I can't really say this enough. So tomorrow it's gonna drop, this ticket is gonna drop tomorrow. This ticket, I believe, is the only one which is a choose. You can choose five characters and get one out of them. But if you do this right, you're gonna get guaranteedly a good character for yourself. Or, let's just say, even if the character is not a good character, you're gonna get a high value. Let's just say, in terms of like this Redox Toshiro, the character is good in general, but uh, the most of the times you need this character for the Chronicle Quest bonus, so you can get more bonuses out of the stage, which you have to farm every single month. So yeah, tomorrow at reset, this ticket is gonna drop. This is the character pool right here. And we are gonna categorize all of the characters real quick, what I really just wrote down of. We are gonna start with the generally good for the PvE content category. Uh, I selected here uh, Mugetsu. Tech Rukia, Fierce Battle Ichigo, Machine Society Ukiura, Heart Retsu and Heart Yoruichi and Spirit Society Kayen. I feel like these characters are generally really really good in PvE content in terms of like whatever, carrying in inheritance zone, uh, doing some Irish droplet zones, doing IT, uh, because yeah man, uh, Heart Retsu is a human killer, it's kind of whatever, but she's doing the right damage, she has an alright kit, doesn't have Havoc, but it doesn't really matter, she's a good character for Senkai, and she has her own floor, so if you need a heart character, let's just say you just started the game, you need a heart character, I highly suggest picking her or Mugetsu, because yeah they are they are good or even the heart yoruichi um Re rukia is a lot of the times bonus in epic raids she's really good in terms of her kit she's really good she's a 14 recharge link she's hollow killer you can use basically in uh, these characters who i just mentioned here you can use all uh, in all of the type of um PvE content, Fierce Battle Ichigo, you know, so generally good for PvE content means basically that you can choose them in every type of PvE content. So yeah man, 
Uh, these characters are really good, so maybe if you're missing, I don't know, one copy of your Mugetsu or one copy of your Fierce Battle Ichigo, I highly suggest just picking them, because maybe maybe you're gonna be satisfied with a 505 Fierce Battle Ichigo, but of course this ticket is gonna be targeted for you to pick the characters who you want to play with or you need for your account, you know? Uh, so yeah, don't just pick a Mugetsu if you don't like the character, that's what I wanted to say. For epic raids slash auto slash guild quest, you can pick Sp Swimsuit Hari Bear. She's really really good. She has been released the last year. She's a really good side unit in the ranged, uh, never mind, melee or encore hard guild quest. Um, Power Kempachi, who is right here, he still can be somewhat useful in PvP um, if you just uh, gear him up right and may maybe let's just say hold yourself until like 4th seat, even in 3rd seat if your character is, I don't know, fully transcended with high gear, high link slots and your side characters are really good also. So this power camp patch is generally good in guild quests, side character, you know, like a captain week, um, auto in contents, uh, alongside with Ginrei. Ginrei is a ranged flurry normal attack unit, so he's really good. Um, he's a hollow killer, ranged hollow guild quest, you know, uh, epic raids, he does a lot of damage, so these characters are really good in general. We are gonna get to the chronicle quest bonus tab here. Um, for In terms of like chronicle quest, you can go with uh, Redux Toshiro or Swimsuit Orihime, Redux Toshiro and Swimsuit Orihime, both of them have a uh, type of uh, Chronica quest stage where you can get more drops so yeah if you don't have them and you need the bonus importantly and you can prioritize these characters in the banner uh, before I don't know anyone else maybe you just consider picking them uh, we are gonna get to the awesome link stab second anniversary Ichigo with the resurrection he's not a bad character at all but I highly categorize him as a awesome link because he's a 25% strong attack damage and 10% recharge after you resurrect him which is one of the best links in the game Christmas Riruka has a 20% strong attack damage at 10% recharge uh, if you resurrect her and uh, Kakao Society Tsukishima has a 20% normal attack damage and a full stamina damage boost at 60% uh, so yeah these these links are awesome so maybe I don't know you're missing one of them and you don't really know who to pick here and you must pick a really really good link um, these characters are for you and before I say anything about or categorize any type of characters, I highly suggest only picking a dupe character if your character is 405. Uh, because, let's just say, if your character is 105 and you're just trying to get one more copy of him, you're not gonna be satisfied with 205, you know, because you're gonna feel like you haven't summoned anything. So, this is just my opinion. You can do that, of course, uh, who am I to tell you, but the um, plays, I believe, only picking a character if you are 405, because, yeah, man, you're not gonna be satisfied at all with a 205 or 305, because, yeah, this is a really rare time when you can choose a character for yourself, and, uh, yeah, man, um, Bef before uh, just continuing to the video, I really just uh, want to tell you that um, if you don't really know who to pick or you have like all of the characters who I just mentioned here, make sure to just select those characters who you don't have because you, get you getting orbs from it, that's the most I mean, that's not the most important stuff, but the second, second important stuff. So if you have like almost anyone here uh, and you know, like you don't have three characters, I highly suggest just, just picking those three characters because you have a chance to get them and you can get 75 orbs. And uh, yeah, so uh, by the way, what you have to know about this, I believe you are going to get uh, yeah, you're gonna get the level 150 and 200 rewards for if, if the character is new for you. Um, 
So yeah, man, uh, you're not gonna get the level 100 reward, so you're not gonna get 50 orbs for it, but if the character was new for you, you're gonna get 75 orbs, and uh, the character is gonna be maxed out when you're picking it, so instantly 200, you know? Um, what am I trying to say here is make sure to just... Um, everyone's choice is gonna be different here. And uh, I highly think that you should watch first what you have on your account and decide for yourself based on this uh, topic on this video or on this character pool who you want to pick because this is a rare choice for us to just pick a, a character, you know, basically who we want from a character pool. So I highly think that it's going to be uh, a different character for everyone and... Uh, Everyone's account is different, so just watch, you, watch your account, who you don't have, who you need, and base your decision on that. Um, that's kind of the video for today, guys. Uh, I so, I'm so sorry if you didn't really see the value in this video. As I said at the beginning of the video, I really just want to just target those people who don't know yet. Um, which are the good characters, who they need, or just helping them to make a decision. Because at these rare times, I highly think we should help uh, for those um, who, who want to feel satisfied after the pools and of course everyone. So yeah, thank you so much for watching the video and uh, have a wonderful uh, rest of the day. And uh, yeah man, um, as usual, wherever you are, have a great day slash night. And I will see you at the next one. Bye-bye.